Hi guys, welcome back to another plan with me. Again, I am late. Sorry about that. I'm filming on Tuesday. Um, I have a lot to update you guys on. Um, but anyway, I'm using this amazing Stars Hollow kit. Um, I like the academia vibes it gives me. Um, and it just feels very fall to me with like the plaid. So anyway, I decided I would go with this. This is from Sugar Pot Fizz, obviously, and um, lots of great pieces to this kit. So yeah, let's just go ahead and get started. I'll, um, I'll just go ahead and start with the dates. Um, so I guess the biggest piece of news is that, so and I'll put, I'll put in here, you know, I had an interview yesterday with, um, with a truck equipment company they make like lifts and accessories and things like that um and so I would be doing their accounting and um so it, I'd be coming in as like I think a senior accountant or something I can't remember what the title was but anyway so um I, I had gotten or I had applied to you know I had basically applied to this job not knowing who it was for. It was just like a generic uh, job on LinkedIn that I saw. And I was like, yeah, I know how to do all that. Like, I can do inventory. I can do, you know, cost accounting type stuff. That's what I did um, in the job before. The one I have now, I worked for a manufacturing company. And so lots of cost of goods sold analysis and like margin analysis, that kind of thing. Anyway, I went ahead and so I, I sent or I applied to this job like last Thursday or Friday, maybe. And um, it was like the job was posted by a recruitment, like a recruiting firm that does a lot with like accountants. Um, they're like it's called account temps is like they do um, accountant temps. And then they also have like um, just recruiters for professional accountants. So I had reached out or, you know, I'd applied, sent my resume to, um, apply for this job that I thought sounded interesting. And I was like, okay, I can probably do that. So I just went ahead and did like the easy apply on LinkedIn. And then I got reached out to by, um, I'm going to go ahead and lay these down. Actually, I'm going to do these upside down because that seemed to work better last time. But anyway, so I, he reached out to me, um, um, one of the vice presidents of like recruiting or something for the um for the firm that he represents and he um you know so I, he asked kind of what what my story was and things like that and you know so uh he looked at my resume he said I had a, a really great resume and he already had he said you know the one I post the job I posted um you know, on LinkedIn about is the main one I'll, you know, um, I think you would, you know, you would enjoy and then, um, or you'd be really good at too. And then, um, and so he had one other, one other job opening that, um, they were hiring for. And so he's like, you know, I think both of the, both of them want to get you in, uh, for interviews next week. And so, um, you know, he asked about Monday and I was like, well, Monday might be a little crazy, but I can probably do Tuesday. Well, it turns out that, um, they have a hybrid work schedule at the place that interviewed me. And so one of the interviewers does her, one of her work from home days, they have like two days remote and two days in the office. Um, Ooh, I love this already. And I'm going to go ahead and put in where did I put my tweezers let's see i'll go ahead and put in my little september script this is from wonder stickers co so anyway um let me think what else i'll just go ahead and lay down headers while i'm talking uh we'll just do it i'm gonna do it upside down i think again and i'm, I'm gonna keep it easy this time and just do like in order but anyway, so to continue that little story, so he, uh, he asked if I could potentially do like Monday at lunch, um, since one of the interviewers, uh, does her work from home day on Tuesday. And so I said, sure, you know, I can go ahead and just make it happen at lunch. And I was only doing the one interview, um, cause he said, um, they absolutely like jumped on you. They really want to get you in for an interview. And so, um, so anyway, I was like, sure, I'll just go ahead and 
meet with them at noon Monday. So that's what happened yesterday. And um, so I went and had the interview, thought that it went well, called the recruiter after that, um, you know, and said, I thought it went well. I guess you never really know, though, until you hear back. And so he said, well, I'll give you a call back and I'll let you know what they say, um, you know, as soon as I hear back from them. Let's see. I am going to go close the door because kids are home and that's all. I have to close the door because it's already getting loud when, the second they get home. So at about, I finished my interview at about 1240 or so. It went over the 30 minute mark a little bit. But, you know, the the recruiter had said that's pretty typical. Or like 30 minutes is usually like the first, the first interview is pretty short. They just want to get to know you. Um, talk through some, you know, initial questions. And so um, I haven't interviewed in three years because I've been at my job for three years so the last time I interviewed was August of 2019 and ended up getting that job that I've been at for three years so anyway I haven't interviewed in a while so I was like I thought it went well but you know you never know so anyway that was that I called him at about 12:45 to tell him how it went stopped and grabbed some lunch on my way back to my current job um and just you know went back to work um, and about less than two hours later, so at like 2.30, I get a call from the recruiter, and he says, they said you were a home run, they want to move directly to offer, and they even canceled their afternoon interview that they had with somebody else. Um, they just, they want to go ahead and offer you the job. So, <laughs> yeah, two hours after an interview, I got offered a new job, and I'm super excited about it. Um, so I've turned in my notice today at work. Um, which is hard and bittersweet because I really love that job. It's it has been so wonderful for these last three years. They I work for a nonprofit and they you know they truly care about their people. They care about their mission and and I really enjoy I've really enjoyed that job a lot. Um, but due to some circumstances right now, I want to make sure I have some good earning power. Um, and this job is effectively going to be. I think double what I make right now. So yeah, it's a huge jump and it's a big, a big thing to, you know, to celebrate. So I'm very excited about it. Um, I feel very, it's definitely a boost to my confidence, my ego, excuse me, whatever you want to call it. It's definitely a boost to that for sure. To have them, you know, to have another company want you that badly and to where they canceled, you know, their afternoon appointment. That's pretty, um, you know, it makes me feel really good and um, really sought after, which um, I have not been having the greatest self-confidence, I guess, for a while. And so having, you know, having them like essentially uh, offer me the job and cancel the other guy. They had already apparently seen a bunch of people and um, so they were probably tired of interviewing also. But just that the fact that they asked for me that quickly was really flattering and just such a nice um self-esteem boost that I feel like I really needed so anyway that is my biggest news right now and so I will I'll continue working at my current job until probably like the first week in October and then that second week in October is my kids fall break so I asked because they were they're ready to get me in there like immediately and um so I asked that I start after fall break so that I can, because I already have some travel planned and that way I can, um, you know, be here for my daughter that week because my husband will, my husband works from home. So like he won't have off. It'll be nice for me to, you know, just take that time without working, but like be able to spend the week with Nora before I start working this big girl job. So I say big girl job. It's, um, it's just more, you know, a little bit more hours. Like, it'll be a little more of a um, steady sort of set schedule for the nonprofit. I was considered full-time, but only worked 30 hours a week. So, this will be definitely different from that and that I'll be full-time. But, it'll be nice to also have that option of working from home two days a week. So, I'll have to set, you know, those in stone. Like, set those in advance. But, she, the... um 
the controller that I interviewed with, she said that, um, you know, like during COVID, obviously she, uh, her childcare hours were shortened and things like that. And so like, as long as you get the hours, she would just have to go home and like clock, clock in from home and finish her work for the day or whatever. But she's like, as long as you get your time in, like, we don't really care uh, how you do it. So they seem very flexible and family friendly. The boss has two young kids younger than mine. So um, that's very helpful. Like they're, they're super understanding of, you know, motherhood. So that's important. So anyway, that is, that is the big news of this video. So I have a new job and I'm excited about it. And, um, I think it'll be gr really great. So lots to learn, I'm sure, but it'll be good. So, okay, let's go ahead and get in here. We can go ahead and do these like categories or whatever. Actually, I got two sheets of Mally and Plan stickers. Ordered recently because I was getting low on those. Okay, so now I think we have kind of a full, full base spread down. So that's great. Let me get some, I think I'll do some like date dots here. I think I'm just going to use these from um, Tipsy Dog. Open up the window. I'm breathing in the last of September. Okay. Looking great so far. And then I'm going to save these full boxes just because I don't, I like to use these like when I don't do anything or like don't have anything planned. So actually like, I don't know, I guess I could put note that I got my job offer today and put in my notice. So, um, I don't know that we have anything going on, but I don't really want to block anything out quite yet. Cause as you know, or I've, as I've said before, this is kind of a, um, like after the fact, like habit tracker type planner. So, uh, I, a lot of times I only put in like the family stuff, stuff that I know is about to happen. So let's go ahead and put in, I'll do a job interview one. Let's use this. Yay, nailed it, got the job. Okay, so I wanna put that in and then let's go ahead and do, um, I'll just put in turn in notice. Okay, so yeah, we are rocking and rolling with that. I'm gonna do a little bow for some decoration. Cause why not? Cute. And Let's see, nothing, actually, I know nothing happened uh, with my Instagram account yesterday because I just, I fell asleep early putting Aaron to bed. So let's do, just do this little Star's Hollow one. Since I'm filming this Tuesday, I can go ahead and at least put this stuff in. So that's good. And then... I did not get any reading done. I fell asleep again. What else is new? So let's do... And then I'll probably get like a cute little sleepy um, icon or something. And let's see. I did roasted russet potatoes last night. They were really good. And I just like made uh, some buffalo chicken to go on top. That was delish. Like little chicken tenders. Let's use one of these. And then I also did not get anything done last night for um, house stuff. I'm, I need to do some laundry tonight, but I didn't really get anything done because Nora had ballet last night, which I guess I could put that up here, but that's all right. So let's see. We did roasted potatoes. So roasted potato with buffalo chicken. It was delicious. Um... I don't really know if I have any, like, I don't know, icons or whatever, like little food 
icons that would go with that. But anyway, so yeah, that's everything that happened yesterday. And then, like I said, I'm filming this on Tuesday. So hopefully I'll have some stuff tonight to post on my Instagram account like this. Um, I'm hoping to have this edited and posted tonight. So hopefully that'll be in there. And then um, I really got every because I'm super behind. Um, I did go ahead and download the audiobook for book club so I can try to binge listen to that this week. Um, so yeah, I guess that's what we're gonna, gonna be doing. So let's see. I don't really know what I want to use these things for, but maybe that can just call that out. And then I'll put like a little sleepy, sleepy thing. Here, let me see. We use a Keebler slept in, but he's sleeping. So close enough. This is from Tipsy Dog. Super cute. Okay, and then I'm just going to use like a fork and knife uh, icon here. Just to fill that space a little bit. That's cute. I don't have like a potato. <laughs> so anyway, um, I, I can't really... I think there's maybe a birthday party going on Sunday, but I'm not 100% sure. So yeah, um, I think I'll leave it at that for now and just, you know, do more of my tracking and putting things in as I go, like I always do with this one. But here's a quick flip back. I am going to post this later. So yeah, I did a lot of falling asleep and not a whole lot of reading. I only read one day last week, but that's okay. So um, anyway, that is, that is last week. And then here we have this week. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. It was probably pretty, you know, shorter than normal just because um, I, well, we're talking than normal, but anyway, I don't have a whole lot to put in quite yet. So I'm just going to leave, uh, you know, leave these aside and I'll, you know, kind of fill this in as the week pro progresses. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. I appreciate you guys so much for watching and I hope you have a great week. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.